Imagine sitting down at your computer and realizing that everything you thought separated Linux from Windows no longer exists. Complex setups, the cryptic commands, the endless troubleshooting, it's all fading into the past. Linux once considered the playground for experts, the domain of programmers and tech enthusiasts, has evolved into something that even casual users can approach without fear. Yet beneath this surface ease, a quiet revolution is unfolding that could fundamentally shift the way the world thinks about personal computing. The gap that once defined these operating systems. The one that made Windows feel accessible and Linux feel exclusive is disappearing and the consequences are deeper than you might expect. For decades, Linux was defined by its steep learning curve. Stalling a new distro often meant wrestling with partition tables, dependency errors, and cryptic command line instructions. Windows, on the other hand, promised familiarity and ease, letting millions of users accomplish tasks without ever opening a terminal. But that distinction is shrinking. Ow. Recent developments in Linux desktop environments, package management systems, and hardware support have eliminated many of the friction points that kept casual users at bay. This isn't just incremental improvement. It's a fundamental shift. The question is, what does it mean when the so-called hard operating system is no longer hard? One of the most striking changes is the standardization and polish across modern Linux distros. Years ago, choosing the wrong desktop environment or missing a proprietary driver could derail your experience. Today, even newcomers encounter guided installation wizards, automated driver detection, and seamless updates that rival Windows in both simplicity and reliability. Companies that once hesitated to deploy Linux on desktops and laptops because of support headaches are now revisiting that decision. The corporate world has long been tied to Windows not only because of familiarity, but also because of risk management. If Linux can now meet those same standards of stability and support without the need for extensive in-house expertise, the implications extend far beyond hobbyist computers. Beneath this transformation is a surge in developer-focused enhancements that indirectly benefit all users. Take the rise of containerization, for example. Tools like Docker and Padman have made managing complex applications and development environments remarkably accessible. While these technologies are framed as developer utilities, their presence dramatically improves software distribution and stability for everyday users as well. The traditional barriers to entry dependency hell conflicting libraries. Software fragmentation have largely been solved in ways that ripple outward to every user. What once required hours of troubleshooting can now often be resolved with a single command or even entirely automated. Through graphical interfaces, hardware compatibility, once a major sticking point, has also seen a quiet but profound transformation. Modern Linux distributions now support a broad spectrum of devices out of the box including cutting-edge graphics cards, high-resolution displays, and even enterprise-grade peripherals. The times when a printer or webcam required a scavenger hunt through forums are largely behind us. This shift alone has enabled a new generation of users to adopt Linux without encountering the frustration that historically led many to abandon it for Windows. It's a change so subtle, yet so foundational, that it reshapes the perception of Linux from a niche experiment to a practical alternative for everyday computing. Availability. Software availability has traditionally been the other side of this gap. For decades, users equated Windows with I can run anything I need, and Linux with good luck finding compatible software. That is changing as well. Not only has the open source ecosystem matured, but commercial software vendors have started releasing Linux compatible versions of applications that were previously Windows exclusive. Moreover, the advent of universal package formats like Flatpak and Snap allows users to install modern software with one click. It's fully sandboxed and without the version conflicts that used to plague Linux. What seemed like a minor convenience actually signals a larger trend. Linux is aligning with the expectations of users conditioned by the simplicity and ubiquity of Windows. Even gaming, long seen as a point of divergence, is no longer the clear advantage Windows held. Steam's Proton compatibility layer, along with growing support from GPU vendors, has made it possible to run many mainstream titles on Linux without technical gymnastics. What's notable is not just the ability to play games, but the quality of the experience. Performance, stability, and ease of setup are now approaching parity with Windows, 
a scenario that would have been unthinkable even a few years ago. As a result, Linux has gone from being a curiosity for gamers to a viable platform for serious play. The implications extend beyond entertainment. They influence corporate desktops, creative studios, and research labs, where gaming-grade graphics and multimedia support intersect with professional needs. One of the more subtle shifts is the changing mindset of the community itself. Linux has historically thrived on a culture of problem-solving and tinkering, where users were expected to become part of the solution. Now, that philosophy is evolving without losing its identity. Developers are investing time in usability, accessibility, and intuitive workflows, making the platform more approachable while maintaining its flexibility and power. This balance between power and simplicity is rare in software ecosystems and is what enables Linux to challenge Windows directly, rather than merely coexist as an alternative. The cloud and enterprise adoption also feed into this evolution in ways that ripple back to the desktop. Organizations running Linux servers and containerized applications have begun to push for consistency between server and client environments, leading to innovations in tooling, automation, and GUI design that benefit all users. When enterprise-grade solutions become user-friendly, everyday computing reaps the rewards. It's a cycle where professional requirements drive improvements that make Linux easier for everyone, blurring the lines that once separated casual users from technical experts. Yet, Despite all this progress, there is a subtle tension that lingers beneath the surface. <sighs> As Linux becomes easier, the perception of exclusivity and technical superiority diminishes. Some in the community fear that this accessibility might dilute the culture or reduce the incentive to learn deeply about the system. At the same time, this very shift is what enables broader adoption and relevance. The balance between maintaining the core strengths of Linux customizability, security, and stability while embracing simplicity is delicate, and how it plays out over the next few years could redefine the competitive landscape entirely. Consider the long-term implications for enterprises. IT departments that once standardized on Windows for consistency and support are now revisiting Linux as a realistic alternative. Reduced licensing costs, improved security, and ease of deployment make Linux an attractive option especially for organizations embracing hybrid cloud infrastructures. The technical barriers that previously justified Windows dominance are eroding, and the business case for Linux has never been stronger. Ow. This isn't a marginal shift. It's a potential realignment of desktop computing across industries, driven largely by the platform becoming too easy in ways that Windows has never been forced to match. Security, often a hidden advantage, also plays a critical role. Linux has long been praised for its security model, but usability issues prevented it from being the default choice for many. Now with easier installation, automated updates, and strong default configurations, Linux allows more users to benefit from its security without needing deep technical knowledge. The cumulative effect is a platform that is not only easier to use, but inherently safer than many alternatives, including Windows, which continues to battle threats at a scale that complicates everyday use. The convergence of these factors, the polished desktop experience, robust hardware support, universal package management, enterprise-grade tooling, and security improvements creates a scenario where the lines between Linux and Windows blur dramatically. The gap that once defined operating system choice has shrunk to the point where it may no longer exist in any meaningful sense for the average user. This has profound implications not only for individual users, but also for software vendors, IT infrastructure planning, and the future direction of personal computing. Even software developers are impacted. With Linux becoming easier and more mainstream, the audience for Linux-compatible applications grows exponentially. Developers who previously targeted Windows exclusively must now consider a platform that is approachable, performant, and widely adopted. This is not just a shift in user preference, it is a change in the economics and strategy of software development potentially influencing which applications are created, maintained, and optimized in the coming years. At a human level, this transformation changes expectations. Users accustomed to simplicity and reliability on Windows now find a familiar ease on Linux, yet with the added benefits of control, security, and transparency. The psychological barrier that once prevented experimentation and adoption is disappearing. People who would have once dismissed Linux as arcane or intimidating are now engaging with it, 
discovering its strengths, and sometimes realizing that they have been limited by Windows more than they understood. So what does this mean for the broader technology landscape? It means that the traditional narrative of Windows dominance is no longer guaranteed. It means that choice is becoming genuine, not just theoretical. It means that the competitive pressure to innovate, simplify, and secure operating systems will intensify, benefiting everyone. And it means that Linux, long relegated to niche communities and server rooms, is stepping into a role that may fundamentally alter user expectations, corporate strategy, and software development practices simultaneously. By the time you reflect on all of this, the realization sinks in. Linux is no longer the outlier, the challenge, or the curiosity. It is a fully formed, accessible, and compelling alternative to Windows, capable of meeting the needs of casual users, gamers, developers, and enterprises alike. The gap that once justified hesitation, doubt, and friction has been closed, not by accident, but by deliberate innovation, community effort, and a relentless focus on usability. What remains now is not a question of whether Linux can compete with Windows, but how quickly the world will recognize that the line that once divided them has effectively vanished. This evolution raises one final, intriguing question. As Linux becomes easier and more mainstream, what will happen to the very identity that made it unique? Will the platform retain the culture, the creativity, and the depth that inspired its early adopters? Or will accessibility become the defining feature, making Linux just another option in the crowded operating system landscape? The answer is still unfolding, but the shift is undeniable. The gap is gone, and the world of computing is poised for one of the most interesting transitions in decades, with Linux now positioned not at the periphery, but firmly in the center of the conversation. By the end of this transformation, the story of Linux is no longer about overcoming barriers. It is about embracing opportunity, redefining expectations, and proving that power and simplicity are not mutually exclusive. The journey from intimidating to accessible has reshaped not just software, but the perception of what is possible in computing for users, enterprises, and developers alike. This is the quiet revolution that is already changing everything and it is only beginning.